Hey, what's going on, y'all? I'm back. So, um, yeah, so we've been covering the Malia Davis case over here. And just by the responses that I was getting, I realized that there's a lot of people over here that subscribe to my channel who's following the case. And they own me. They like, look, Key's like, jump on this real quick. Like, so we can figure this shit out, man. We need to find this little girl, okay? Because right now, at this point, we're trying to find her body. We're looking for a body. We're not looking for um, a little girl that's alive. I mean, that's just how I feel about this. We're not. Um, so, at this point, timing is, is, is of the essence. Because the sooner they find her the sooner we'll be able to find out how she died because that's what we need to know. So we, we need to figure that part out. But right now, we're going to go through the timeline. I think we need to cover the timeline. And on April the 30th, the mother, Brittany Bowens, she left going to a funeral for her father. Her father passed away. Okay. Now, the funeral was in Springfield, Massachusetts, and he died on April the 11th. So... While she went to the funeral, she left her kids with this nigga. Okay? And she supposedly left on April the 30th. Now, when I looked at the maps and I did Houston, Texas to Springfield, Massachusetts, driving, it said it took about a day and, and an hour or two. So I understood, you know, okay, well, that's why she flew. And then remember, I was like, well, damn, why she didn't take her kids? And I had one comment, and I ain't going to even lie, when I read it, I kind of chuckled a little bit. <laughs> because she was like, well, maybe she didn't have enough money to buy tickets for all her kids. And I was like, well, damn, you're right. She might not have had the money. You understand what I mean? And again, it took over a day to drive there. So at this point, y'all, and this is just where I'm at with it, at this point, Brittany need to show me evidence that she got on a plane to go to Springfield. I need to see that. We need to see that. Okay? Because one of the things that I can't shake is the fact that her father died on April the 11th. But she didn't leave until April the 30th. So, when the hell was the funeral? What day was the funeral on? You understand what I'm saying? She left two weeks after he died. So I want to know what day the funeral was on. We need to know that. Okay? Because we know she left April the 30th. But we don't have an exact time. What time did she leave on April the 30th? Also on April the 30th, at 7.54 in the morning, we got the, the last known footage of Malia walking back toward the apartment at 7.54 in the morning. Okay? And she's she's following him. She's following Darian. So, was Brittany there at that time? I think she was. Like, I was reading a couple things and um, I think she was there at this time. I, I'm, I, gotta, I gotta look a little deeper into that. But, anyway... This is at 754. And this looks so weird to me because they look so distant. You understand what I mean? Like, almost like she's chasing behind him. Like she's trying to keep up with him. You know, what was going on at this very moment? Was he mad at her? I mean, what? This was at 754. And then look at this shit. So... At about an hour later, at about 8.50, we got this nigga leaving the apartment by himself. He by himself. So again, where's Brittany? Where's Brittany? She had to be in the house. He done left the house without the kids. In, in my mind, there was another adult there. That's how he was able to leave by himself at 8.53. Okay? This here is Malia's father, Craig. At some point between April the 30th, which was a Tuesday, to Friday, May the 3rd, he went to the apartment looking for his kids, trying to pick up his kids. 
And just so happened, he was only able to leave with one of them, with the oldest son. Because don't forget, Brittany's oldest two kids belong to him. Okay? He went to the apartment trying to get his kids. Darian did not allow him to take Malia, but he was able to get his oldest son. And I had a problem with that because, again, like I said... How the hell did you only leave with one of your kids when you went to pick up both of them? I wanted to know what reason could this nigga have given you to make you comfortable with, with walking away from this apartment without your daughter? And I got a lot of responses back from that. And it seems like everybody's saying that Darian told the biological father that Malia had the flu and that she was asleep. And I'm like, um, she and <laughs> you know what I mean? And because I, I guess because I'm a mother, if, if a motherfucker would have told me that, I would be looking at it like, well, damn, my daughter's sick and you feel like you could take better care of her than I can. I don't give a damn, sick or not. Wrap her ass up, I got her. That's it, and that's all, nigga. That's it. You know, I just feel like whenever it was he went over there, Malia was already either in bad shape, in a bad condition, or she was already dead. Period. That's just how I see this. So we need to know exactly when he went over there. But it had to be between April the 30th and May the 3rd. Because look at this. On May the 3rd, at about 1.40 in the afternoon, we see Darian ass leaving up out that apartment with the, with the black trash bag in the laundry basket. This was at about 1.40 in the afternoon. Okay? And I told y'all how I feel about this. I feel like what we're witnessing right here is him take Malia out that apartment. And then look at this. Later on in the day, at about 6.40, we got him leaving with just his son. And apparently this is when he's leaving to go pick up Brittany from the airport. Okay. All he got is his son. Malia's already gone. And then not only that, look at what's in his hand. He has bleach in his hands. So what that told me was at some point, this nigga was trying to clean up something. He was trying to clean up something. Nigga so stupid that they think they can get it up with bleach. Yeah. We see him leaving at about 6.40 to get Brittany with only his son. So let's go back into his statement. He said on May the 3rd at 9 o'clock. So down there two hours after we see him leaving with just his son. He told us that he thought he was he he was on his way to the airport to pick up Brittany. He thought he had a flat tire and he pulled over. And apparently, or supposedly, some motherfuckers, three Latino men, Hispanic men, whatever, pulled up on him, jumped out, knocked his ass out, and then he woke up at 6 o'clock on Saturday. That shit sounds unreal to me. Because when I looked up how long it would take to get to the airport from Houston, Texas, um... It's only about 20, 30 minutes. 20, 30 minutes. So if we see him leaving at 640 to go get Brittany, because that's what he said. And not only did he say he was leaving to go get her, he said that he left with Malia and his son. Y'all don't see Malia, do you? Nah, Malia wasn't with him. So he want us to believe that Two hours and 20 minutes after we see him leaving with just his son. Don't forget that. He want us to believe that three men in this blue truck that he done had police looking for everything. He want them to believe. He want us to believe that three men pulled him over. Jumped his ass. Left him unconscious. And he didn't wake up until six o'clock on Saturday. Yeah. That's what he want us to believe. Now, Saturday was May the 4th, okay? This nigga told us he woke up at 6 o'clock. But 
They they caught the car that this nigga was driving at the intersection at 2.54 p.m. in the afternoon. That's three hours before this nigga telling us he woke up, okay? Three hours. They see the car, okay? They see the car. Not saying that he was driving it, not saying none of that because we can't say that. But they see the car at 2.54 in the afternoon. Who was driving the car? Who was driving the car then? Okay? Because I'm going to show y'all what don't add up about this shit. They caught this nigga coming through the hospital at about 11.20 on Saturday that night. So we see his car at 2.54. He tells us he wakes the fuck up at 6. At 11 o'clock, he shows up at the hospital. But the killing part is this. He was dropped off in the Nissan Altima. Y'all following me with this shit? He claimed he woke up. We see his car at the intersection at 3. That, that, that means, in my opinion, he was still in the car. Or he was still with the motherfucker who was driving that car. Because then that same vehicle dropped his ass off at the hospital. And he gave all these stories. He he walked there and then he was dropped off. Like he gave too many fucking stories. But the police find footage of him being dropped off in the same vehicle. Come on, man, y'all. Come on. As far as Darian goes, here is some of his injuries. Look at that knot on his head. Now, I question that, you know, but for all I know, it could have been self-inflicted, but somebody knocked his ass over the head with some shit, okay? Then, he had all these scratches on his chest, on the back of his neck. I mean, like, what the hell happened? And at first, I was thinking, like, was Malia fighting him or what? But then, considering that I feel like her body has been hidden, I think that came from, like, wherever he dumped her. It's a wooded area. You understand what I mean? Like, I feel like those scratches didn't come from Malia. I think those scratches came from wherever it was he took her. While at the hospital, Darian reported Malia missing. Now she's missing. Okay? And if Brittany was out of town, my question to her would be, when was the last time you talked to your daughter or saw your daughter? You know, nowadays they FaceTime, do all this other extra shit. When was the last time you talked to your daughter? Because, you know, I mean, shit, my kids ain't even got to leave the state. But if you got my kids for an extended period of time, whether it be two, three days, whatever, I'm, call I'm talking to my kids on the regular. When was the last time she checked on the kids? That's what I want to know. On May the 5th, the police went back to that apartment where Darian and, and Brittany lived looking for evidence. And what they found was blood. They found blood in the hallways. They found blood in the bathroom. Some of the reports I, I read said they also found blood in the kitchen. But majority of the reports said the hallway and the bathroom. So what it sounded like to me is that there was a bloody mess. And that nigga, that's why we saw him with some bleach. He was trying to clean that shit up. Come on, man. Two plus two equal four every day, all day. Okay? And then, not only that, do y'all know that they found human tissue in the drain? Human tissue? What did he do? Did he cut her up? Whatever whatever went on in there, it was a bloody mess. And how the hell did human tissue end up in the drain? Did he cut her up to put her in that bag? Man, listen. So y'all know at this point, they looking for this nigga. They done found blood, everything. They on his ass now, okay? And they catch up with him. They do. But it took them a minute. So, on May the 9th, they find the car abandoned in that shopping center. 
So four, day, four days later, which I thought it was right after they left the hospital. So that's my, my fault. We're we going to correct that. It was four days later when they found the car abandoned in the shopping center. I wonder who left that car there. And is there video footage of somebody walking away from that car? Because understand this, by the time the police got to this car, the cadaver dogs hit on the trunk. The smell of decomp was in the trunk. That's from a dead body. A dead body had been in the trunk of this car. And understand this, when, when you listen to people describe the smell of decomp, of, of a decomposing body, they say that it's a smell that you never forget. You got to understand that the car smells like decomp. That was some Casey Anthony shit right there. You don't drive around like that. But they caught up with that nigga on May, on May the 11th. And it says that Darian Vince was arrested Saturday and booked into the Harris County Jail on suspicion of tampering with evidence. A human corpse, according to police, who have not provided information on whether or not Malia is believed to be alive. Understand this. They ain't got to tell me. Everything that they're showing me, they know she's not. They know she's not alive. They had this nigga locked up on a million dollar bond. A million dollars. And then something happened. Something changed. Because it went from a million dollar bond to 45000 I was like, damn. Like, how the fuck he go from a million to 45000 In my mind, something changed. Is he in there talking? What are you talking about? I mean, something. It's got to be something. Yeah. They need to hurry up and find Malia. And I think it was important that we go through the timeline. We needed that. But now, let me, let me show y'all something before we go. Because this fucked me up. I went back and was looking at the pictures. Now, these two photos from the same day. The one where I think he's carrying Malia in this laundry basket. Look at what he has on. Look like a black top. Some white and black bottoms. That's at about 140. Then at 640 when we see him leave with his son. He got on this like it looked like a hoodie. Like a white sweater. With the same pants though. It looked like the same pants. Just his shirt is different. So I'm like well damn. Why he changed his shirt? What what happened? Did something happen to the other shirt? I mean, I don't know. I mean, it could be, you know, he might be one of them niggas that change a couple times every day. You know how some niggas been on that. They had on three outfits and shit. <laughs> one day. Playing too much, okay? But not only that, he told us that he woke up at 6 o'clock on Saturday and then he went to the hospital. Look at what he showed up in the hospital when that don't look like the same sweater to me. For you to have been kidnapped in that motherfucker. That don't look like the same shirt. Y'all think that's the same shirt? It don't look like it to me. But y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think about this shit, man. And I'll be back because I'm working on the mama right now. And I'm on her ass. It is what it is, man. Ride with me. I'll be back.